All right. Now that I got that out of the way, I got one other bit of business. <laughs> Misty Kandarko. I'm just going to do it like this the whole time. It's like all my boyfriends before my current one. He's really short. I'm just kidding. He's just average height. <laughs> Why am I adjusting it? I'm not even using it. <laughs> well, that was a lot of wasted time. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for wasting time. So how's everyone doing tonight? I'm just going to forewarn you, I made a mistake and drank a lot before I came up here, so I had to pee really bad, so it's going to be a really short set. <laughs> Seriously, like you can actually see it? Well, I can see it. I'm looking at it from a different angle than you. I love to show people how when I eat, this side of my stomach is higher than this side. It's really weird. Come see me after the performance, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, well, so I can actually get on to my routine now. I was going to tell, I actually homeschool my daughter, so how many people here feel like they know my daughter after all my <laughs> performances? <laughs> my daughter one time when we were driving in the car, which is where she does her best material, I'm quizzing her and I asked her, I said, um, give me an example of a compound word, and she's like, asshole. I was like, all right, that's a good one. Give me another one. She's like, fuck you. I was like, that's not a compound word. It's two words. She's like, why does everyone always say them together? I'm starting to think maybe fuck you should just be a compound word. But uh, all of that aside, she's actually doing a lot better with her uh, homeschooling now that we actually, you know, do it. We first started doing it, we tried this thing called unschooling. And um, I would say that we still kind of do that, but not to the degree, but if anybody can kind of figure out from the context clue, unschooling is you don't school. It's the idea that um, you just let kids be kids and learn, I guess, guided by what they're interested in. The problem was she was never interested in anything long enough to be guided by it. <laughs> and a lot of that was my fault just because some of the things that she actually wanted to do were illegal. <laughs> I mean, at her age. <laughs> hey, they let us adults get away with a lot. She's always saying that. She's like, it's not fair. How come adults get to drink and kids don't? I'm like, because it'll stunt your growth. She's like, when did you start drinking when you were five? I'm like, no, shut up, you're a bitch. Her favorite thing to do now is to take credit for my stand-up comedy because she says all I ever do is tell jokes about things that she says. I said, but I make them sound funny. <laughs> when you say them, you make it sound like you're a bitch. She's like, do you think people are like, why does everyone think it's so funny that you call me a bitch all the time? I'm like, I really don't know. It really shouldn't be as funny as we all think it is. <laughs> I think when everybody meets her, you guys are just going to wait for her to say something bitchy just so you can call her a bitch. <laughs> That's what she's hoping for. She's hoping when she meets every single one of you, she's going to say something, and you're just going to go, wow, you really are a bitch. So she can just go, my mom's not a liar. <laughs> she tells the truth. But it's really not true. I, I lie a lot. I, I actually, I'm a recreational liar. I only lie when I'm in the presence of other people. <laughs> That's actually a lie. I lie to myself, too. But I love telling that to people, and then they actually believe me. See, my idea of this is, if I lie to you, and within like five to 10 minutes tell you that I was lying, it does no longer qualify as a lie. It just qualifies as storytelling. <laughs> and in my defense, if I tell you something that is so outrageous that you should know that it's a lie, then you're just stupid and it's not my fault. <laughs> I actually made a girl, and I feel so bad about it now because I think about, she really believed this. I made her believe that another friend of mine was a cannibal. 
we were all laughing. We thought it was funny. I didn't know she really thought that <laughs> I was being serious. Now, I'm going to tell you the story, and you're going to think, why would you even think this was funny? Why would you come up with this? A friend of mine was crying, and this girl was one of those type of people that always had to know what was going on. She came up and said, why is your friend crying? And I told her, well, don't know why I thought of this. Said, well, she's really upset because she just had a family member pass away. And in her culture, they believe for the spirit to live on, they must eat a part. I know, it's mean. It's mean. It's awful. <laughs> they, they must eat a part of the, the person so that they could live on. And we're laughing. My friend's actually got her hands. She's laughing at this point because she was crying. She was upset. I think a boy broke up with her or something. I don't remember. Something stupid like that. She's shaking, but it's because she's laughing at this point. Like, she starts shaking because she's laughing so hard. And we're all laughing. And it turned out the girl believed this, and she went to the counselor <laughs> at the school. And my friend didn't find it funny after that because she got called into the counselor. And then I got called into the counselor, and they were like, why are you a compulsive liar? And I'm like... I'm not. I'm a recreational liar. It's not the same thing. <laughs> but that's my performance for tonight. Thanks. I was, I was really worried about these lights. I don't know if any of you guys were here for my third performance, which you will not see because like, hopefully you deleted that, right? Yeah. You, no, you can't keep that. You have to, you have to delete it. I passed out. <laughs> Because I had really bad migraine. These lights are evil. I want you all to come up here after the show and like get up here and, and, and feel them. And uh, I was actually afraid that I might do that tonight. So I was just warning everybody, if that ever happens again, please don't call an ambulance. I have no health insurance. <laughs> just roll me like you do the carpet. Just roll me over to the side. I will wake up eventually, and um, it'll all be good, okay? Just for future reference. And, and you're not allowed to put it up on the Internet either. Not until I become famous and you can make money off of it.